Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna be installing this M4 exhaust on the Yamaha R7. Gonna do an installation video for you guys. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start off with the right side first. So we got these four millimeter Allen key bolts that we're gonna go ahead and remove. There's one. And these do have little plastic washers in them. So you don't want to lose those. So I'll just keep them together. I got a box here and I'm going to put them in. And there's one more down here. And then there's one more back here. All right. So now there's like two plastic screws back there that we're going to go ahead and pop out. All right. So for these really have to screw them out but they do push out so there we go all right so pop that out all right so there's another pop pin right here there we go All right, so you can go ahead and remove the fairing now. There's a rubber, a rubber grommet holding it in right there. So these, there we go, is one. And there's two. So yeah, you just pop that sucker out. All right, so we have one four millimeter Allen right here that we gotta take out. And then we have a, um, it's being held by some screws right here. So I've got my screwdriver. And there we go. There's that. All right, so the next thing is the headers held up here by 12 millimeters. There we go. All right, so the next thing to remove is the O2 sun. O2 sensor, it's a 17 millimeter. I don't have that, so I'm gonna use these clamps. And that was not that bad. So we'll just let it hang for now. All right, so the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna remove that bolt right there. So this one right here, it is a 12 millimeter. So the way that I'm gonna do that is I have an extend extender that I'm just gonna slip under the brake right here push it down a little bit sneak it in there and boom I'm on there oh no all right so there we go there's that all right so now we're here on the on the other side so the bolt that we're gonna be taking out is this one this one right here and we're gonna do the same thing I'm gonna put the extension in there. And that'll fit right there. Oh. <laughs> All right, it's out. All right, so the screw was a little stuck because it was the last thing holding it. So I put this Amazon box that I just got and just like that. Just like that, the exhaust is out in this thing. Whew. This is a heavy one, oh man. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take the left side, left side panel out. Now these are four millimeter Allen key wrench screws. Okay, there's one more, two right here. It's another one right here. All right, then don't forget you have this like pop screw right here. It's not really a screw, but go ahead and get the, the needle under there and then it'll just pop out. And then there's one more behind. There's one more behind here, but I'm gonna go on the other side to get a better angle. There we go. 
All right, so now we can go ahead and remove this. So if you push in with your thumbs up here, it's an easier way to pull it out. All right, so I got a ton here. See, the other side didn't have this. This one right here, I didn't see because of the kickstand, but. And then boom, that piece comes out. So right now they got a three to four week wait on these exhausts but shout out to my good guy joe on facebook he had five in stock and he sent me one out and i got it in three days and i got it for less than retail so you can't beat that bada bing bada boom Look at that carbon fiber M4. Yeah, I can't wait to get this baby on there. Ooh, this thing is light. All right, so what else do we got? So boom. That is, that is one thick, all right. So they labeled one and two. And then, um, This is uh, one, and uh, this is two. All right, so the way that these are gonna go on is number one is gonna be on the left side and number two is gonna be on the right side. So I'm gonna start off with number one here. And I'm gonna try and do this with the gasket on because the gaskets fell out but once you got that on there you want to go ahead and try and get the the bolt and i know you guys can't see it but trust me when i say it is tight but it is doable so boom so first one is done now we're gonna go ahead and put the second one in all right so now I'm gonna put in the number two the second side all right guys so notice right here I freezed it so you guys can see I have the gasket for the header right there I'm holding on to it and I'm putting it all in in one go because I didn't have any uh grease or anything to keep it stuck on together so I just kept it there and I'm putting it all in one go so that way you know I can have the gasket in there without a problem so just in case any of you guys uh don't have anything to like keep it stuck in there while you're putting in the header you can you can hold it and put it all in at once it's very doable just wanted to let you guys know that So, gasket is in. All right, so now we have the middle piping. And what you're going to want to do, because the O2 sensor does not fit in here because it's small, uh, they provide you with uh, some adapters that you can use. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna throw on some anti-seize on there, just in case I ever wanna take it off. I don't want it seizing up on me. Just go ahead and put it back on. All right, boom. And now to make this easier, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the O2 sensor on first. I'm gonna screw it on like this. So that way the wire isn't all tangled up, you know? 
just makes my life a little bit easier. All right, so now it's time to tighten it. I have the clamps here to do that. Now we're gonna go ahead and put them into the bolt here. Get that pipe it in. Alright, so I'm not sure how far deep they're supposed to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rubbers on there. Alright, so I'm gonna get you guys a little bit closer to how this is done. So you're just gonna loop it like that. Here's the first one. And now the second one. There we go. Just need a better positioning. All right, so the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is take the provided, um, you know, metal thing that M4 provides you with and the OEM uh, bolt that came off of the exhaust. So where that's gonna go is that's gonna go in there um, exactly where you took out the OEM one. So that's gonna go right there in the middle in between. So I'll go ahead and put that in for you guys. Alright, so boom, it's gonna go right there. And then you're gonna take the bolt. You're gonna slide it in. There you go. Alright, so once that's in, there you go. All right, guys, so the next step is uh, you're going to put the exhaust on. I completely forgot to record that part, but I mean, there's not really much to explain. You're just sliding the exhaust pipe onto the middle uh, piping, and that's pretty self-explanatory. So you just slide it on there, and then this is what you're going to do next. All right, so the next thing that you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to take your rubber... Well, you're gonna take the holder, make sure the rubber gasket's on there, right? Make sure everything is in place, and it doesn't matter which way you put it. Um, so you're gonna take this and put it in here. And then you're gonna take this and your bolt, and uh, this, this is gonna go on the other side of this, and the bolt is gonna go straight through. is tight all right so there's that all right guys so for this next part uh we're gonna go ahead and put the last um spring spring rubber tool whatever you want to call it the spring we're gonna put the last one in that connects the exhaust to the mid pipe uh so that way it don't fall out all right so everything is on there bolted on and good to go. So the last step is to put the panels back on and I'll go ahead and do that and we'll be right back with the sound test. All right, so we got the exhaust and everything put back together. So let's go ahead and uh, start her up.
so loud, bro. The neighborhood gonna hate me.